Kamala Harris unveils pro-business economic plan to boost U.S. economy. Vice President Kamala Harris has outlined a pro-business economic plan aimed at bolstering the U.S. economy and reducing the cost of living for Americans. Speaking at the Economic Club of Pittsburgh and Pennsylvania, a key battleground state, Harris emphasized her commitment to fairness, dignity, and opportunity for all. Pro-business and middle-class support. Harris's plan seeks to double the number of people trained in registered apprenticeships, a move aimed at enhancing workforce skills and employability. Additionally, she has expressed support for initiatives to increase home ownership, a cornerstone of middle-class stability. CFO Survey, Predictions and Preferences Despite her pro-business stance, a CNBC CFO Council survey reveals that while 55% of chief financial officers, CFOs expect Harris to win the election, an equal majority believes that former President Donald Trump has a better plan for the economy. Only 17% of CFOs surveyed thought Harris's economic plan was superior, pragmatic capitalism. Harris has positioned herself as a pragmatic capitalist, advocating for practical solutions that are not constrained by ideology. She has called for bold, persistent experimentation, invoking the legacy of Franklin Roosevelt, economic philosophy. Harris's economic philosophy is centered on lowering costs for the middle class, promoting housing affordability, and expanding tax credits for young parents and small business owners. Her three-pillar plan includes expanding or restoring tax cuts enacted during the Biden administration, such as the Earned Income Tax Credit and the Child Tax Credit, Manufacturing and Innovation. Harris also aims to spur domestic manufacturing and innovation through tax incentives, emphasizing the need for U.S. leadership in sectors like biomanufacturing, artificial intelligence, and blockchain technology, election impact on economic agenda. The success of Harris's economic agenda may hinge on the outcome of Senate races, particularly those involving SENS, Ted Cruz, and Rick Scott. Democratic control of the Senate is crucial for implementing her proposals on issues like abortion rights and economic reforms. Competing visions, Harris's economic vision contrasts sharply with Trump's, who, during a speech in North Carolina, defended his proposal for a lower tax rate for U.S. manufacturers and vowed to impose high tariffs on auto imports from Japan, Germany, and South Korea, Harris vs. Trump, while Harris's plan focuses on pro-business and pro-middle class policies, Trump's strategy emphasizes U.S. dominance over foreign competitors through trade barriers and tariffs.